you begin a turn by rotating the control wheel in the direction you want to turn. Once you have initiated the bank, it will continue to become steeper until you neutralize the control wheel. Holding neutral control wheel pressure keeps the aircraft in a constant bank angle. When you want to roll out of the turn, use opposite control wheel pressure. Due to the aerodynamic force of adverse yaw, you must use rudder pressure in the direction of the turn to keep the aircraft in coordinated flight. The position of the horizon in the windshield is the best outside reference for the turn. By keeping this reference stationary in the windshield, you will be able to hold the aircraft in a constant bank attitude. A turn to the left looks like this from your viewpoint. Notice how the horizon is positioned in the windshield. A right turn will appear different from a turn to the left. One of the most notable differences is that with the same bank angle, the nose will appear to be higher in a left turn than in a right turn. Another factor that influences the position of the horizon in the windshield is the amount of bank. As it increases, you lose more vertical lift. To compensate, you must increase the pitch attitude to maintain level flight. In addition to your visual references, the airplane's flight instruments can also verify that you are in a turn. The attitude indicator, heading indicator, and turn coordinator will also verify that you are in a turn. When you are rolling out of a left turn to a specific heading, you should lead your rollout by about half your bank angle. In other words, if you are in a 30 degree bank and you want to roll out on the heading of 090, you should begin your rollout at 105 degrees or 15 degrees before the desired heading. Now that you've seen how climbs, descents, and turns are performed, let's combine them into a single maneuver. The climbing turn is simply a combination of a turn and a climb. The easiest way to combine these two maneuvers is to start with the climb. First, establish the proper pitch attitude and power setting for climb. Then roll into your desired bank. As you become more proficient, this combination will become more natural, and you will be able to do both steps simultaneously. When returning to level flight, you should level off when you reach your altitude and return to wings level flight at your desired heading. To perform a descending turn, first establish your pitch attitude and power, and then roll into your desired angle of bank. As you reach your target altitude, level off, then roll back to a wings level attitude on your desired heading. When you combine the fundamental maneuvers of climbs, descents, and turns, you have the ingredients to perform most flight maneuvers.